The number one fear facing pre-retirees and retirees these days is running out of money before they run out of life. This is what we call longevity risk and it's the single greatest risk to your retirement plan. That's primarily because longevity risk is a risk multiplier or a risk amplifier, meaning that it amplifies the likelihood of or the consequences from four major risks that could derail your retirement plan. What are those risks? First, sequence of return risk. The risk of being forced to take distributions from your retirement accounts when the market is down. When you do this a couple years in a row, it could send your portfolio into a death spiral from which it never recovers. Second, withdrawal rate risk. This is the risk that unduly high distributions from your retirement portfolio could bankrupt you far in advance of your life expectancy. And a survey by MetLife, an astounding 43% of respondents said that a 10% distribution rate in retirement was sustainable. Not so. It would bankrupt you about 10 years into your retirement. Third, inflation risk. This is a risk that inflation slowly erodes your spending power over time. This is particularly relevant in today's economic environment where inflation seems to be spiraling out of control. In 2021, we experienced 7% inflation and in 2022, inflation was at 6.5%. Fourth, long-term care risk. If you and your spouse are over age 65, there's a 75% chance that one of you will need some sort of long-term care between now and when you die. Long-term care is especially devastating because you can burn through a lifetime of savings in just a few short years. And the community spouse, the spouse who doesn't need long-term care, is left with one house, one car, a minimum monthly maintenance needs allowance of about $2,500 a month and about $130,000 of cash. So what was shaping up to be a perfectly rosy retirement for your spouse turns into basic bare bones subsistence type living. The reality is that as devastating as all of those risks are, they become an even greater threat the longer you live. In other words, the longer your life, the more likely that one of these risks will sink your retirement ship. So removing longevity risk from your retirement picture, as it turns out, is the single most important thing you can do for your retirement. Not only do you ensure that your money will last as long as you do, but you blunt the effect of those four risks I just mentioned. Now, right about now, you may be saying, hey Dave, for years you've been preaching about the importance of shielding yourself from tax rate risk, the risk that rising tax rates could dramatically diminish your after-tax spendable income in retirement. Isn't that the greatest risk in retirement? Folks, as much as I hate to admit it, tax rate risk is the number two threat to your retirement portfolio. Longevity risk has always been number one. So the million dollar question is this, is there a way to mitigate longevity risk and tax rate risk within the very same portfolio? For a long time, that answer was no. Historically, the best way to mitigate longevity risk was to use a guaranteed lifetime income annuity. These types of annuities can guarantee that you'll receive a paycheck so long as you're on this side of the grass. Now, because these types of annuities have historically been illiquid, it was nearly impossible to shift them out of your tax deferred bucket and into the tax free bucket. The only way you could do it was to convert the entire IRA annuity to a Roth IRA annuity all in one year, which of course saddled you with a massive tax bill. Conversely, if you wanted to primarily shield yourself from tax rate risk, you had to keep your money in liquid investment accounts so that you could do Roth conversions in an amount of your choosing over the time period that your financial plan called for. In short, you could mitigate longevity risk or you could mitigate tax rate risk, but rarely within the same financial plan. By eliminating one risk, you did so at the expense of not eliminating the other. However, within the last 10 years, annuity carriers have begun creating fixed index annuities that had what I refer to in my best-selling book, Tax-Free Income for Life, as a piecemeal internal Roth conversion, PIRC, feature. Here's how it works. You roll a portion of your qualified retirement plan into a fixed index annuity, FIA. FIAs give you two important benefits. First, the ability to link the growth of your money to the upward movement of a stock market index up to a cap while guaranteeing against loss. This helps you combat inflation. Second, they give you the ability to elect a guaranteed lifetime income. This helps you neutralize uh, longevity risk. Once you've contributed money to your FIA, 
let's call it $500,000, you can then execute your piecemeal internal Roth conversion. So instead of having to convert all 500,000 to a Roth IRA all in one year, shooting you into the 37% tax bracket, you can split those conversions up. The goal here would be to shift that money quickly enough that you get all the heavy lifting done before tax rates go up for good, but slowly enough that you don't rise into a tax bracket that gives you heartburn. For most of Main Street America, your conversions should never exceed the 24% tax bracket. That's the sweet spot in the US tax code. So given $500,000 in your fixed index annuity, it might make sense to divide your shift up into five equal Roth conversions of $100,000 per year. This will keep you in a much lower tax bracket, saving you thousands of dollars in taxes and extending the life of your investments. Now, once you get that money entirely shifted into the tax-free bucket and elect a guaranteed inflation-adjusted income for life, you'll experience two crucial benefits. First, your income will be immune to rising taxes. Problem with annuities in the tax-deferred bucket is that your pre-tax income can be guaranteed, but your after-tax income is not. The piecemeal internal Roth conversion solves this problem. Second, when you draw a guaranteed inflation-adjusted tax-free income out of your Roth IRA, it doesn't count as provisional income. It doesn't count against the thresholds which cause Social Security taxation. And avoiding Social Security taxation can also dramatically extend the life of all your other investments. In summary, longevity risk is a risk amplifier. It increases the likelihood of or the consequence from four major risks. Sequence of return risk, withdrawal rate risk, inflation risk, and long-term care risk. An annuity has always been the best, most cost-efficient way to remove this risk from your portfolio. But if that annuity was positioned in the tax-deferred bucket, it came at a cost exposure to tax rate risk and social security taxation. By utilizing an inflation adjusted annuity, specifically a fixed index annuity, you can neutralize longevity risk and shield yourself from the impact of higher taxes, all within the very same financial plan. If you wanna learn more about how to mitigate longevity risk and tax rate risk from your financial plan, be sure to check out my tax-free toolkit. You can download it for free at taxfreetoolkit.com. If you're a financial professional and want to learn how to become a certified Power of Zero advisor, head over to PowerZero.com and opt into my free three-part video series. By the way, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to drop them into the comment section below. I respond to every single one of them personally. And don't forget to click like, subscribe, and the bell so you never miss a video. This is David McKnight. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.